How to get rid of rats and mice with baking soda. Eco-friendly rat control. Using baking soda to keep rodents at bay without harming pets or wildlife. Introduced non-native rodents, like the black rat, brown rat, Norway rat, and house mouse, can be some of the most problematic pests, causing serious issues in homes, farms, and communities. These feral rodents not only damage property, but also carry diseases, creating potential health hazards for people and pets alike. However, using commercial poison baits to tackle this problem brings its own set of risks. Pets and native wildlife that prey on rats and mice, such as birds of prey or small mammals, can accidentally consume poison-laced rodents, leading to secondary poisoning. Additionally, other vertebrates, such as reptiles and amphibians, face dangers from ingesting poisoned rodents. So, how do we tackle a rodent problem without putting other creatures in harm's way? Enter baking soda, a safe, effective, and environmentally friendly method of rodent control that you can make at home. In this video, we'll explore a unique homemade bait that uses baking soda to address your rodent problems while minimizing risks to pets and wildlife. It all starts with understanding a unique trait of rat and mouse biology, their inability to burp or vomit. This simple fact becomes the key to a DIY solution that's both humane and highly effective. Why baking soda works for rodent control. Rats and mice have a particular biological limitation that makes baking soda especially effective in controlling their population. These rodents are unable to burp or vomit due to the way their digestive systems are structured. When baking soda interacts with the acid in a rodent's stomach, it causes a chemical reaction that releases carbon dioxide gas. Normally, excess gas in the stomach is expelled through burping or vomiting, but for rats and mice, that's impossible. This buildup of gas becomes fatal for them, making baking soda an effective, natural rodent deterrent. This method is safer than commercial poisons because it poses minimal risk to other animals, provided the bait is used carefully and kept away from pets. Unlike traditional rat poisons, which remain toxic within the animal's body even after death. This baking soda-based bait deactivates after ingestion, reducing the chance of secondary poisoning if another animal were to consume the deceased rodent. Crafting your homemade baking soda bait. While baking soda alone isn't particularly attractive to rats and mice, combining it with food items they find irresistible can create an effective lure. One of the best options? Chocolate cake mix or chocolate brownie mix. Rodents have a well-known sweet tooth, and the rich aroma of chocolate is almost irresistible to them. Here's how to make this simple bait. Gather your ingredients. You'll need equal parts baking soda and chocolate cake mix or chocolate brownie mix. The chocolate mix attracts the rodents, while the baking soda is the active ingredient that does the work. Prepare the bait. Pour equal parts baking soda and chocolate cake mix into a shallow container. Use a few heaped teaspoons of each, depending on how much bait you want to prepare. Mix into a paste. Gradually add a small amount of water to the mixture, stirring constantly. Be cautious not to add too much water at once, as you want to achieve a thick, paste-like consistency. Adding water helps the bait stick together and makes it easier for the rodents to consume. Placement. Once your bait is prepared, place small amounts in shallow bowls along walls or in areas where you've noticed rodent activity. Common locations include spaces behind furniture, dark corners, and near entry points. You can also roll small portions of the paste into bowls and tuck them into holes, cracks, or other hiding places where rodents may nest. Be patient and observant. Rats and mice are cautious creatures by nature. When you introduce new objects or substances into their environment, they may inspect them thoroughly before deciding to eat. Give it a few days for the rodents to feel safe around the bait. Keep an eye out for signs of rodent activity, such as droppings, which indicate they're nearby. Why this method is environmentally friendly and safer. Unlike commercial rodenticides, which can persist in an animal system and harm the ecosystem, 
This baking soda bait becomes inactive shortly after ingestion. This reduces the likelihood of poisoning other animals, even if they encounter a rodent after it has ingested the bait. This humane approach doesn't involve the suffering typically associated with poison, as it's a natural process based on the rodent's inability to handle internal gas buildup. Since pets and wildlife can sometimes encounter the bait, it's still wise to place the paste in areas out of their reach. Tucking the bait away in cracks, crevices, or behind heavy objects can minimize the risk of accidental ingestion. Plus, the chocolate aroma helps ensure that it's more appealing to rodents than other animals. Additional tips for successful rodent control. When using this method, it's essential to practice patience and persistence. Here are a few tips to help ensure the best results. Keep bait fresh. Baking soda can lose effectiveness over time, so if you notice the bait hasn't been eaten after several days, consider refreshing it. Monitor rodent activity. Look for signs of rodents, such as droppings or gnawed food packaging, to help identify the best spots for bait placement. Maintain cleanliness. Eliminating food sources and keeping a clean environment can help reduce the likelihood of attracting new rodents. Seal entry points. Check for gaps, holes, or cracks where rodents may enter your home and seal them up. Prevention is often the best defense. Conclusion. A safe solution for pest-free homes. Using baking soda as a homemade rodent control option is an effective, safe, an environmentally friendly way to manage rodent populations without resorting to harmful commercial poisons. By taking advantage of a simple biological trait, this method creates a natural deterrent that protects your home and reduces risks to pets and wildlife. Next time you encounter a rodent problem, reach for the baking soda and chocolate cake mix to create a DIY bait that's both humane and highly effective. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.